No cap, Tivity. Freezy, Freezy. What up? You are officially locked in and no captivity with Freezy, where we tackle issues that sometimes have us trapped in this thing that we call life. But if you know me, you know my motto. To free yourself, you must heal yourself. Let me hear you say it. To free yourself, you must heal yourself. And if you're rock with your boy Freezy, please hit the like and subscribe button hard right now and also comment and share this video that is if you rock with your boy freezy dj envy proves he's a piece of shit dj envy just hit an all-time low making egregious and disparaging remarks about gunplay's little daughter no captivity now just when you think you can't embarrass yourself more than you have already dj envy has proven he is officially a P-U-S-S-Y ninja. This one here for the thug. Now Gunplay did what any respectable man about his business was supposed to do. He called up DJ Envy and told DJ Envy, if you ever say anything else about my daughter, I will, you know what? I'm not gonna tell y'all what he said. I'm gonna play it. It's coming up in a little bit. But I just wanna do my little monologue before we go into it, you know what I'm saying? DJ Envy heavily hit the tabloids and social media when his wife outed him right in front of him and told the whole wide world he's never made her have an orgasm in 20 years. Right in front of him. If you don't believe me, Google that shit. And after she said it, he just sat up there looking all dumbfounded and embarrassed. But I'm gonna tell you one thing he didn't do. He didn't check her right there on camera as soon as she shared that embarrassing ass piece of information. I mean, we can't take away from the fact that it's true and all, but you don't supposed to be calling me out like that. I'm your husband. But he took a back seat and he remained respectful. Then, not too long ago, he went back and forth with your boy, Rick Rossi from Dade County. No captivity. Apparently, both of them got competing car shows, so it got a little heated and a little disrespectful. First, Envy tried to mock Rick Ross with the cop uniform, as you can see. You know, because back in the day, it came out that Rick Ross was a correctional officer, but he got past that. Then, Rick Ross called him out once again about his wife saying he's never made her have an orgasm. And he even invited his wife to his house if she ever wanted to have one. Now, how disrespectful is that? And you know what he did after that? Got quiet. No captivity. But what I'm about to show y'all and the level of disrespect that DJ Envy was willing to take because he felt like gunplay was low hanging fruit, not to mention his newborn daughter. But let's go on over to the no cap room so we can examine this a little further. Shout out to Hip Hop DX, who wrote up this detailed article that I'm about to share with y'all. Now y'all fasten your seatbelts, because it's about to get a little unbelievable. No captivity. So right here it says, Gunplay puts DJ Envy on blast with leaked phone conversation. Gunplay has put DJ Envy on blast after posting a phone conversation between the two, where the former MMG rapper demanded an apology from the radio host for bringing up his newborn daughter's GoFundMe page. Gunplay wasn't happy to have his name thrown in the mix and was very offended by the ricochet shot. He demanded an apology on their phone call posted on Monday, May 29th, and even threatened to get physical with Envy if that's what the situation called for. You feel me? So Gunplay goes on to say, why you talking crazy about me, my brother? What I had to do with anything and my wife posting to go fund me. My baby was sick. She had a heart attack. That has nothing to do with cars. You know I'll slap the shit out of you, boy. Envy, for real. You know I'll slap the shit out of you, right? This one here for the thug. Now I'm gonna say this. Gunplay, if you watching this, you one of the realest ninjas I ran across in the entertainment world. I'm talking about I ain't never heard Tupac say no shit like this. That's what I'm talking about. Straighten these fools. Don't let them get away with nothing. And so often we're so fake with celebrities because they got a little clout. But your boy Gunplay don't give a fuck. 
Gunplay also demanded Envy make a public apology when he gets back to the breakfast club this week. My wife is affected by that, he continued. We sat in the hospital for 28 days. That shit was some real shit. It ain't even about the money. My wife is in panic mode. I told her to chill, but it's cool. We did a GoFundMe. That ain't nothing, so don't bring my child into this, my nigga. Because then we gonna be having bad blood, dawg. No captivity. Gunplay's partner posted a GoFundMe for their daughter who underwent emergency heart surgery. That's what his daughter went through, y'all. That's what his daughter was experiencing. This is the situation that DJ Envy was making fun of. Gunplay's daughter underwent heart surgery in February and they've since raised over $30,000 in the time since. What's wrong with that, DJ Envy? Why you got a problem with that? Is you mad? Let's go home, y'all. So I got a quick video I want to show y'all. Actual footage when Gunplay called DJ Envy for a little straightening. No captivity. Side note, it sounded like Charlemagne the God is the one who set the phone call up, but that's unofficial. That's just what it sounded like. Let's get into it. Gunplay. Yo. Yo, Envy on the phone. Yo, Envy. Play what up, bro? What's up, man? How's everything with you? I'm blessed beyond belief, man. Everything is good, man. Why you talking crazy, man? You talk crazy about who? About me, my brother. I, what I had to do with anything, man, and, and, and my wife posting a GoFundMe, man. What that? My, my, my baby was sick, man. What, no cow. She had a heart defect, my brother. Why? Why? Why has nothing to do with cars? You know I'll slap the no, shit no, out no, you, I boy. I wasn't talking about your baby. Today. Nah, you was. Envy, I slapped it. Envy, for real. I, you, Envy, for real. You know I'll slap the shit out of you, right? No cap. For that. You know that, right? No, we ain't doing all that. No, 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 no. I'm no, no, no. I want to be clear. I want to be clear here. You know I would slap the shit out of you about that, right? And then we can fight, but that's not the reason I'm saying that. See, nah, it ain't going to be a fight. It ain't going to be a fight. Nah, it ain't going to be a fight. Envy, it ain't gonna be a fight, dog. If I wanted to I wasn't but you did, but you did. Why you let? Why? Why'd you bring me into that? Why did you bring me into that, Envy? And so I'll be wrong. So I'll be wrong if I, I'll be wrong to handle my business, then, right? But what's your business? I'm, I'm having a conversation with you. If you feel like you, I disrespected you. I'm talking to you like a man. I'm like, nah, whatever. And if you feel I did, I apologize. That wasn't my intention. Well, I need a public apology because that my my wife, man, my wife, my wife, my wife is my wife is affected by that. My my brother, we sat in that hospital for twenty for twenty eight days, homie. That shit was some real shit. That shit had nothing. It ain't even about the money. You know what I'm saying? My wife is in panic mode. My wife put that up, and this is what it is, and that's how she felt that she that she wanted to. She was in panic mode. I told her to chill, but it's cool. We did a GoFundMe. That ain't nothing, my brother. So don't 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 bring my child into this, my nigga. Cause then we gonna we gonna we gonna be having bad blood, dog. And if you felt that way, I apologize. That wasn't what I was trying to do. And I fuck with you, so that's what I'm saying. That's I apologize. Thank you, my brother. No captivity. Now, as y'all heard, DJ Envy said, if you want me to clear it up, I will on The Breakfast Club. Let's see what happened. This is Gunplay's Instagram, and he posted this. I knew DJ Envy would renege on his word to apologize publicly, and I knew I would have to do it for him. I waited and waited. He had all the opportunities and didn't do it, so I did it for him. DJ Envy, this is why it's important to keep your word, my brother. Our word is all we got. Leave it in the comment section if you agree with your boy Freezy. And this is the GoFundMe that DJ Envy was making fun of. Gunplay's daughter was nine days old before she had to have open heart surgery. Now y'all tell me something. Is that something to joke about? You didn't straighten your wife. You didn't straighten Rick Ross like you were supposed to. But you pick at Gunplay about his wife creating a GoFundMe page to assist their daughter in a crucial recovery? No captivity. What kind of man is DJ Envy, my no cap crew? Leave it in the comment section. I need y'all to flood my comment section. What kind of man is DJ Envy? One more time, y'all. This is Gunplay's daughter. Isn't she beautiful? She just melts your heart, doesn't she? Envy, I want you to take a close look at this beautiful young girl and understand that just because you got a little clout doesn't mean you have the green light to totally dismiss the seriousness of a nine-year-old baby having to undergo open heart surgery. No captivity. 
So my wishes is that DJ Envy actually does conjures up enough dignity to publicly apologize to not only Gunplay, but his entire family. Envy, I'm going to honestly say I have no respect for you after this, my brother. I'm sorry. It is what it is. No captivity. Now y'all know we need some words of wisdom from the most high above. Well, yeah, father. Oh, there you go. Philippians second chapter, third verse. Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, DJ Envy, but in humility, count others more significant than yourselves. Did you hear that, DJ Envy? Don't be so conceited in your fame and celebrity that you feel like you have to punch down and humiliate others, especially children and babies in dire situations. What's wrong with you? To support stories of this magnitude, of this importance, please send your cash app to dollar sign freezy1976. And also, the PayPal information is listed below in the description. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. No captivity with Freezy. No captivity. And make sure you hit that notification bell as well so you can be up on all the latest updates that we release. And like I always tell you guys, to free yourself, you must heal yourself. And until the next time, we out of here. No captivity. Freezy. Freezy.